This is the Huawei Matebook 14 2020 model and this is a compact powerhouse PC and I call it a powerhouse PC because you can use this for photo editing, video editing and some pretty heavy duty gaming. So check this out. So when it comes to design, let's start with the chassis. This thing is made from an aluminium alloy and the top and bottom covers are also metal and the sides are made from reinforced plastic, all of which is finished in Huawei space gray color. And at its thinnest point, it's just 15.9 millimeters thin. Now I'm a big fan of the CNC milled chamfered edges around the trackpad and the power button. And I feel it certainly adds a bit of prestige to the MateBook 14. The power button is a two in one and it's also a biometric fingerprint reader. The trackpad also has double functionality as just beneath the surface of the trackpad is a Huawei share tag. And Huawei share, for those of you that don't know, is an exclusive feature for HMS devices and more on that a bit later in the video. And the keyboard itself is backlit, it is a chiclet style, it's got a good amount of travel to the keys, nice tactile feel, not bad. Now check this out, this is one of my favourite features here and it's the pop-up camera. I love this feature, I'm one of those people who likes to cover the camera lens on my computers with one of those slidey things that you have to buy from Amazon. Affiliate link below the video if you want to get one of those. But anyway, you don't need one of those with the Huawei MateBook 14 because the camera literally just pops up and you can pop it back down when you're not using it. This is a 720p HD quality camera and it's great for video chat. And Huawei have also built in four microphones into the MateBook 14 to make sure you're getting the best possible audio for those live calls. And on the topic of audio, there are two stereo speakers which are just at the edges here and you can see it's kind of rounded so they're not actually firing straight into the table. They're actually firing out to the sides and actually deliver really good audio. But if you want to step up the audio game a bit more, I suggest you pair these up with the Huawei FreeBuds Pro, which I made a video on a little while ago. I'll link that at the end of this one. Now let's address what's staring us right in the face, and it's the 3x2 2K full view IPS display. Thanks to the camera module being hidden in the keyboard, Huawei has been able to keep the bezels really minimal on the Huawei MateBook 14. The resolution of the display is 2160 by 1440 and it's 185 pixels per inch. And having used this for a while, I can tell you everything seems to be displayed really nicely. You get good amount of detail there when you're editing photos and stuff like this. And the fact that it can produce 100% of the sRGB range is a big deal too. Again, this comes in handy when it comes to graphic design and editing and all this kind of stuff. And the display also has a very respectable 15,000 to 1 contrast ratio and 300 nits of peak brightness. So viewing the MateBook screen in bright conditions shouldn't be a problem for most people. So that's the majority of the hardware out of the way. Let's talk a little bit about the ports and then we'll get into what's inside this PC, what's making it tick. So we have two USB 3.2 ports and a single USB-C port at its side. And that USB-C port is also a hybrid input slash charger. Port. So yes, this laptop does charge via USB-C. The MateBook also has an analog headphone jack if you're old school like that, but you can also use this analog port for an external mic, which is really great if you're doing podcasts and stuff like that. When it comes to RAM and ROM, of course there are gonna be a few variants out there. I can only really tell you about this one I have in front of me. And the configuration on this one is 256 gigabyte storage and 16 gigabyte RAM, which is DDR4. And there are versions of this MateBook which come with the Ryzen 5, the AMD Ryzen 5, but this one is the flagship one, it's the AMD Ryzen 7, which is a competitor to the Intel i7, and it's a real powerhouse processor for an Ultrabook like this. And AMD say the Ryzen 7 is better comparable to the i7 when it comes to graphics performance and also multi-thread performance. So it really is a top tier processor in here, and it is a beast when it comes to gaming and other demanding software. So the graphics performance is gonna be on point thanks to that Ryzen 7 chipset, but all of this is pointless unless you've got good battery performance as well. And Huawei have you covered here, inside of this aluminum chassis is a 56 watt hour battery, lithium polymer battery, and it can actually allow you to watch continuous videos for up to 10 hours straight. So if we ever get to go on a flight again, Maybe you could binge watch some stuff for 10 hours straight on the way and this laptop can handle that job easily. So when you have a laptop like this that can handle heavy duty tasks, 
you need a heavy duty cooling system. And of course, this is tricky when it comes to a compact form factor like this. But Huawei have done something special here with its dual shark fin heat dissipation system inside this computer. So thanks to Huawei's expertise when it comes to mobile tech, the motherboard has been manufactured using a seven nanometer process which helps when it comes to thermal efficiency. But they've also added six sensors inside the laptop to monitor temperature and adjust the cooling system dynamically. And the S-shaped fans which they use in this shark fin technology allow for 38% better airflow and they run quieter than a traditional fan. So in my opinion, that cooling system is awesome. Now this is a big deal and it's truly awesome. It's the Huawei ecosystem feature. So if you own a Huawei smartphone, you can use it with the Huawei share tag under the trackpad, which I mentioned earlier. Literally tap it on the trackpad and it will pair up. Then you can actually control your phone from your desktop. You can drag and drop files. You can do everything that your phone can do, but using your desktop on your MateBook. And I really like the way you can share your clipboard from your phone to the laptop as well. Essentially, it makes collaboration between the phone and the laptop way more seamless. If your phone is connected, it's the fact that you can just toggle on your hotspot on your phone using Windows. So literally just click one button and then your phone's hotspot will activate and then the MateBook will automatically connect to it. And another really awesome feature, which I have to mention, is the touch screen. So yes, you can do everything, mouse and keyboard, but sometimes it's just easier to close a window down by tapping the screen. You've also got gestures as well, so you can pinch out or pinch in to zoom. And these kind of things just make using the MateBook really nice and simple. And another really awesome feature that I like is the fingerprint power button, because literally from off to on, all you have to do is touch the power button. And at the same time as powering up the computer, it's also scanned your fingerprint so as soon as you push that button, it's already logged you in and the computer boots up in about 10 seconds. And that is pretty awesome. So the last couple of awesome features that I feel like I should mention is the fast charging. So 15 minutes charge will give you up to two and a half hours of power. That's awesome. You've also got an amazing gaming performance here. Thanks to that Ryzen 7 that I mentioned earlier. This laptop is a workhorse, but you can also use it for some pretty serious gaming. So that's awesome too. And I'm definitely a fan of the new Huawei MateBook 14 2020 model. If you guys want to check out the current prices, there'll be a link below this video. And if you guys got any questions about the MateBook 14 2020 model, let me know in the comments below. And if you want to check out those Free Buds Pro, which are really awesome, there is the thumbnail on the screen right now. If you enjoyed this one, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And if you just subscribed, you're not one of the finest subscribers known to man. I'll see you guys in the next one.